Hey everyone, today we are going to be putting the server that's been built in the last two videos. We're going to put it into a new rack uh, and this is the perfect opportunity to now redo the home network. I have a new rack that we're going to use. All this needs to be taken apart. It's going to be super fun, so stick around and enjoy. One of the first things we need to do uh, before we take apart any of the cables and the equipment and the rack that's going to be disappearing and the new one that comes in is we need to do all the graceful shutdowns of all the services. Right now the server is off but we also do have some uh, Synology NAS drive running. We need to gracefully shut that down as well as the uh, Ubiquiti uh, UDM Pro that needs to be gracefully shut down and then all the internet will go off. But I hope you enjoy the time lapse and then after the time lapse I will take you through what the new rack looks like and what's going in there. So after a few hours of work, we now have the uh, server sitting in the bottom. The actual case ended up being just slightly too large for this rack, so it's not actually uh, racked, uh, but it is sitting on the base on some uh, insulating pads, So, but it seems fine there. I actually gained one extra unit of space in the rack, which was nice. Uh, the Synology RS812, that's all plugged in, all working fine right now. The UDM Pro, in between those two, we've got a um, uh, like a cable management uh, rail here with some brushes on it so I can feed all the cables around. So they're coming through here like this. Got one spare ethernet jack, two uh, DAC uh, ports free for when I get the 10 gig networking cards. And then I've got a Keystone module on here. Uh, I don't have the Keystones installed yet. Cables are not managed at the back. It's actually kind of a spiderweb mess. But basically what I'm gonna do is um, uh, rack this around when I get the new uh, cable management tools. And then I'm gonna redo some of the ethernet cables once I replace them all with Cat6, because only some of them are Cat6 right now. And uh, it seems stable enough to support a Mac Pro on top. It doesn't seem to be bending or anything. So that's now on top there. I'm gonna update you guys when I do the cable management for this. So if uh, you liked the video, press like. Uh, and if you wanna see more content from me, then hit the subscribe button and uh, press the bell icon if you wanna get notifications when I post new videos. Uh, the videos seem to be coming out about once a week uh, at the moment. So consistency, it's good. I will see you in the next video.